If you're late to school, you get half an hour of detention. This policy was enacted by my high school in my last few years. Once classes started the gates were shut. And if you arrived late, you had to sign in at the office. This gave them a list of kids to pick out at the end of the day. And we would have to sit in detention for half an hour. But it was only ever half an hour no matter how late you were. Cue me and my best friend enjoying our extended lions in the morning. Then walking into town to hit up McDonald's or Subway for breakfast. Before casually strolling in between two and three hours late, signing in, and just happily accepting the extra half an hour detention at the end of the day. It took them a full month to catch on to us. At which point the late policy was changed and we were given a full week's worth of detention each. Which A. Absolutely did not make up for the time lost. And B. Was well worth it for the best month of high school we'd ever had. It's safe to say the two rebel teenagers won that round. When I was going to high school it seemed absenteeism was all they cared about. People were praised just for showing up. I was a bit of a nerd so skipping classes was not something I considered. And at the time the whole thing seemed very confusing to me. When I was in high school, they would, after giving in-house detention, basically quarantined away from classes but still doing the required work. They would suspend people after they had a certain number of unexcused absences. I never understood the logic of this. For skipping school, the punishment was not being able to attend even if you were inclined. The handful of people I knew who did this just hung out with older friends and basically were on vacation during that month or whatever. I guess the idea was that if you got suspended you'd be failing your classes and have to repeat them and not graduate on time. But if you've got a chronic absentee, do you really think they're that concerned about their academic record? At least a couple of them dropped out and got their GEDs later. So at some point they got the diploma. But I still don't see how suspension was considered punishment. This was the late 80s so things may have changed. I hope so. Chronic absenteeism is usually an indicator of other issues so I hope it's being more holistically addressed now. Won't lie though, I'd have loved to skip out on boring classes. But in a small town that's hard. Because unless I was being driven around in the trunk of someone's car, my parents would have heard about it before I even got home. We didn't have AP classes and I was rarely challenged. I stuck it out though, and moved 2,500 miles away at my earliest opportunity. And was happy. So playing their game and playing the long game worked out. TL. DR. Is suspending a kid from school actually punishment when the kid is out doing whatever they want? Thinking face face with monocle. My school was the same but no penalty for being absent. The power went out in the night once so our alarms didn't go off. My mother drove me to school to sign me in and then the receptionist told me to wait in a chair outside the dean's office so I could get my detention slip. My mother questioned this and was told the policy. She asked what was the consequence for not coming into school at all and the lady told her there wasn't one. She scratched my name off of the sign-in sheet and took me back home for the day. I lived on my own as a senior and could write my own notes. I would ask for paper and write it at the counter and hand it to them. Just chiming in to say I did not expect this sub to be the one where I'd see, stay in school. It's for your own good. Replies today cold sweat smile. I don't remember what I did to end up there but the one time I got in school suspension was such a great day. Literally just got to read books all day instead of having to deal w annoying classmates and Teachers that would get annoyed seeing me reading BC I was finishing the work fast skull. I did something similar. Our punishment for not doing our homework each week was one detention. 
But that was just to sit inside for a lunch break. I realized that was definitely a fair trade. So I just didn't do my homework. Took the detention and read books. I didn't mind the solitude and it was only for a lunch break. Then one day the teacher realized I hadn't done my homework for a whole term. So they called my parents in and asked all the questions. I was honest and said it was a fair trade to take the detention and not have to do the homework. Mum laughed. Dad wasn't happy. And that deal was off the table going forward. But it was well worth it. My brain doesn't understand why you'd miss three hours of classes every day. It seems like you'd fall way behind. Lol back in high school my malicious compliance was going to detention only to do the same thing I got sent there for doing. Read my book. It was sort of the opposite at my school. If you skipped a detention you were given two more. But if you were absent on your detention day you didn't have to do any more. I found this out by accident as I occasionally skipped detention and was chronically late. I could dodge a detention just by avoiding roll call in the morning. We had a pass system that allowed us to go into town instead of staying at school at lunchtime but you needed a genuine reason authorized by a parent. Because my dad was a teacher at my high school, the other teachers never scrutinized the reasoning for my or my two younger brother's passes or bothered to see if he'd actually given us permission. He hadn't, but wouldn't have minded anyway. My youngest brother used to go to the pub for a counter meal and a quiet beer in his senior year, and then go back to class. I don't know if you, Juan, much apart from a lack of education. Maybe this needs its own post but at my high school they had a, three strikes you're out, policy. Where if you got three tardies in one semester, you got a Saturday detention. This only applied to tardies, not absences. So if you knew it was your third one many people would just not go in at all tears of joy. When I was in year 11 and 12, I went to a school in a trendy suburb think cafes, bohemian stores and public art. We just sat at the cafe and smoked. All day sometimes. Yes this was way back when you could smoke in cafes. Then we might decide to go to school and sign in. Of course they kept track of late sign-ins. I got pulled out of class once in year 11 to be berated by the vice principal about my attendance. It was humiliating being yelled at but he was 100% right. I did sign in late almost every day. So I stopped signing in. If I turned up late, I would just go straight to the next class. I kept this up all through year 12. I never changed how often I wagged. Truanted. And in the third semester right before HSC they gave out certificates. I got one for most improved attendance. Upvoted for being malicious compliance but I don't really know why you're bragging about skipping school. I assure you most adults don't find this super cool and edgy. If anything I'm just lumping you into all the people I knew who cut class a lot. Those people were. Dot not great. In last three years of high school, I realized there isn't anything that could be done if I didn't go to detention. Friday detention. Saturday detention. I just didn't go. This knowledge I will pass on to my kids. Agree. Bunking off school is a dumb thing to do. Which, ironically, makes you dumber. So you lost 4060 hours of school. Awesome face with rolling eyes. I used to cut a few classes here and there. Then skip the detentions they gave me because if I skipped three of those they suspended me for a day. Suspension was an excused absence so it didn't kill my attendance record in the classes I cared about. They eventually started doing this, in school suspension, thing which threw a wrench in our genius. Loophole. And I'm sure your grades were great. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content.
Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.